Welcome to Gunpoint. Alright. So, this is a game by Tom Francis, uh, who I believe was a former writer for PC Gamer. Uh, it's a game that I don't think a lot of people know about, and I think it's a game that more people should know about, so I'm going to use my YouTube popularity as a world-famous Let's Player who has made one video um, that has been seen. Actually, that's not true, because I just realized I never uploaded it, because it was absolute garbage. Um, I mean, I've made five Let's Plays, if you count the ones that I also didn't upload, because they were absolute garbage. But that's, that's you know, that's totally fine. Um, anyway, so it's kind of, it's like a stealth puzzle platformer. Not really a platformer. More like just a stealth puzzle game. There's platforms. You jump around. Uh, you fall out of windows, you have special pants, um, just stuff like that. It's it's a it's a fun game. I think it's got good writing. It's funny. It's smart. It's cool. It's great. I like it a lot, and you should too. So here we go. So I'm skipping over uh, text, but basically the idea is I've got a pair of pants that are called bullfrog, super jump, hyper jump, whatever trousers, and. Uh, I can jump really high, I can charge up my jumps, I can jump through windows, stuff like that. Typical, regular stuff for Richard Conway, freelance spy. So all the um, dialogue in this game, or almost all of it, is delivered through like texting the people that you're doing jobs for. So I'm going to be skipping over most of this, but this is the CEO of Rook Firearms, Melanie Rook. Uh, so what happened just a minute ago that I totally talked over it because I suck. Uh, Selena Delgado, the woman working in that office, was uh, pushed out of a window and murdered. And I walked through a security camera and now there is footage of me going into the office around the time that she died. And no footage of me leaving, which is just great for me. So, she is telling me there's uh, backups of the footage. And I am going to be going around the different uh, security facilities and wiping the footage so that I don't get uh, wrongly incriminated for this woman's murder. Uh, you can upgrade your pants, like in any game. Uh, I'm going to... I, I personally prefer to just upgrade the jump strength because you can get a lot more done. Charging them faster is nice, but look at that. All right. So later on, they they put the they put the window out of reach here. But uh, once you have stronger pants, you can jump through windows and the you can shatter them, which is nice. This one's this level is uh, straightforward, obviously, because it's the first level. There was no need for me to say that at all, to be honest. You get to the computer, they hack yeah hack the computer. Uh, see the dotted line uh, if I charge it up enough will show that it'll just take you right through the window and you leave and that's the game and there's also other things that make it the game walking through already open doors is my specialty this guy can be really snarky if you want it and I'm snarky so why wouldn't I want it I've uh... there's also um... there's a shop oh whoa I don't know what that is um, so the cross link here is the main tool. I'll be getting it in the mission after this one. But uh, the thing that this game is really about, I don't have access to it yet because it's just introducing the controls. You can jump on guards, knock them out. Um, but it's it's a lot about hacking. So right now I can't do it, but here I will be hitting that switch. This guy's going to come out because he wants to turn the lights back on. I hack the computer. Whoops. Fortunately, it autosaves like all the time. Oh god, which is great because I suck. There, that's what I wanted to do. Away. All right. So now is when I get the cross link and when the game actually becomes what the game is. So I'm just gonna skip this dialogue. I'm just nothing's really happening here. I'm just deleting incriminating footage. So, this is what the crosslink is. You can 
rewire things. So by default, this uh, switch is set to turn the lights on and off, but I can hook it up to this door, and then I can use the switch to open the door. And I hack the computer, and I am on my way. I think this is the, oh, this is the second to last, I believe. So let's just do a quick tackle and punch. So now I can hook this switch up to this electrical outlet or this power socket. And by, by flipping the switch, short circuit, knock the guard out, easy. It's a really easy game until it's not. Um, but I'm currently in the part of the game that I remember how to do it, so that's totally fine. Now I believe this is the, yeah, this is the last of the starting missions. This is when it gets actually kind of hard. So I'm going to jump up here. So this one, there are three computers that I have to delete the data from. So I'm going to start off by... I will hook up this switch to turn off that light. So now he is going to start trying to turn the light back on, but that switch is going to do nothing. So I will hack this computer, jump up here before he can see me. Now when you're hiding in an elevator like this, no one can see you, but the issue is when you, when you uh, arrive on a floor, uh, the guards will hear the elevator and they will look towards it. So let's see, what's the easiest way to do this? This is probably a mistake, but that's fine. So yeah, he is now looking this way, so I'm going to have to turn those lights off before I can do anything up here. Oops, I, I messed up. So you can also hook the um, elevator up to the lights, and now I'll, un I'll unattach this light switch so there's no longer any way for him to um, get to me. I will also keep him from getting in here by disconnecting that door. So now this light is off. Now I can safely tackle this guard, or maybe I can't. Never mind, I really thought that I could do that. Well, shoot. How do I get this guy out of here? I may have made a mistake. That's totally, totally fine, though. First of all, oops, oh my god, <laughs> whoops. So don't do that. Oh shoot, I'm an idiot. Oh god, okay. Lesson learned, it's light outside at night. I really like the, the way the climbing controls work in this game stuff. Okay. Alright, there's a window there. Oh my god, what am I doing? So remember when I said I knew what I was doing? I lied. Can I break through that window at all? No. Oh my god, how do I get that guy out of that room? Whoops. Ah, that's it. I have to get that guy to shoot. Now this guy will come out. That's right. Okay. Now I hack that computer. I will hook this up to the lights so that it will turn the lights off when I get on this floor. easy it is when you use your brain. And off I go. Wow, and I didn't even get the worst time possible. Great. 
All right, so that is the last of the tutorial missions. Now I'm gonna get, this is the wire jack. I will explain what it does in a sec. So now here's what has happened. By deleting the incriminating footage of me, I have also deleted this girl's alibi, and now she is in prison for the murder of that lady. We should be forgiving of everyone involved in this. So, now I have to, if I remember correctly, what happens here is that I have to recover the footage of me uh, going into that office to prove that it wasn't her and re-incriminate myself. So, uh, I didn't actually explain it, but um, at the beginning of the level, I only had access to these two switches, the security camera and the door. By uh, using this uh, circuit box, I now have access to the green circuits. So, I can now hook this up here. And go up to the top floor, and then I can eavesdrop on this guy's phone call. So, I skipped over it, but uh, he's being, uh, his calls are being recorded by Intex. This is a motion sensor. If I walk through it, it'll do whatever. It'll uh, interact with whatever I'm hooked up to, or whatever it's hooked up to. So this is just like another tutorial level. C. Oh, right, there were optional objectives. That's right. So, now is when it starts branching a little. So this guy is from Intex, the, uh, competing corporation with Rook Firearms that is recording the, uh, I already forgot what that guy's job was. The guy that I was just eavesdropping on, this is the guy whose company is recording his calls. So he will give me a bonus if I don't get caught by anybody. These guys are called enforcers. They're like regular guards, but I can't uh, tackle them because they are wearing body armor. But what I can do is I can drop that guy down here and knock him out. Now I need to I need to get up to the blue circuit box so that I am able to use it. So when that elevator arrives here, this guy will look this way. So I will draw his attention with the sound of the elevator. Head back down here. And wire jack. Now just hook this up here. Oops. So I skipped, I, I didn't uh, point this out, but I don't actually know if I have the cursor set to be visible on the recording, but uh, the red cursor means that I am visible if I pass through this area. So as long as I jump here, oh, never mind. As long as I jump here, the guard can't see me. Also your bullfrog pants, uh, you can't get hurt by falls, I don't remember if I ever addressed that. So I'll hook this up to the trap door. Hook this up here. Oops. Connect that to the trap door, jump back out. All right. So, um, this guy is just trying to do some corporate sabotage, steal uh, prototypes from Rook Firearms, because he's not a great guy. But he pays me, and I am a freelance spy, so I am totally okay with uh, helping out Rook and Intex. That's absolutely fine. Um, so that is Gunpoint. I'm going to be doing more of this, but that's the that's the beginning, and which gives you the basic idea of what the game's about. It gets really hard, so I'm probably going to have to... Um, I'm going to have to do some practicing because um, I this this is not the easiest game ever, but I do think it's a really good game. Um, I don't know why I said but, as if hard games can't be good. Um, I mean, for me, they can't really be good because I'm really bad at video games, but... So that's Gunpoint. Thank you for watching. There will be more in the future. Um, how do I put this? I'm almost positive that nobody actually watched this, and I'm almost positive that nobody will watch any more videos that I do, but that's totally fine. So, thanks either way, and 
see you later. Oh, gunpoint crashed. That's nice.